Hi, I'm Darren, and this is Orn and Ananda. Today we're in Patong in Phuket, one of the most expensive places in Thailand. We're going to show you what we can find to eat for one day on $5 US. Let's go eat. So this is breakfast at Braille Patong. We got a very Thai breakfast. We've got crispy pork with rice, boiled chicken with rice, and red pork with rice as well. We're actually already over budget for today. When I Googled this place, the prices were 50 baht. They seem to have gone up since the photos were taken on Google. So we're gonna have to cut back on something else, I guess. The food all looks great. Let's try it out. Horn got the crispy pork. I'll try that one out. Got a big bit of pork crackling there, which looks good. Mm. Yum. Very, very crispy and delicious. Now I've got the boiled chicken, which he's been hopping into. Try a bit of that. Getting really good. Yum. All the dishes have come with a soup and also respective sauces for each one. Try this soup out. There's some bits of chicken in there and some spring onion on top. It's like a chicken noodle soup, very tasty. And then my red pork, grab a bit of that. Quite tender and delicious. We've also got some extra seasonings as well. Some chilies, garlic, shallots that you can spice your dish up with. Cucumber on the side as well. It's very possible to drink cheaper restaurants like these. These local ones generally will give you a cup of ice. They got a jug of water on the table. This is filtered water, perfectly safe for drinking. Similarly, the ice in Thailand is made from filtered water. I've been living here for nearly seven years, drinking the ice all the time, never had a problem with it. These meals are very popular with Thai people, often eaten as breakfast, brunch, and lunch, and always very tasty and cheap, and you'll find these restaurants throughout Thailand. As well as the three dishes that we got, there's other options available as well. There's stewed pork leg at the same price, or you can get a mix of different dishes as well for a little bit more. So we're gonna get back into breakfast. See you at lunch. All right, lunchtime, and we've come to a popular type of Thai lunch restaurant. This is called a Kawagang restaurant, curry with rice. Let's go see what they got. เอาสองสี่สิบบาทครับเอาอันนี้ผัดไก่กิ้งใช่มั้ยอันนี้แกงอะไรครับ
เกงกะจีกายเอาเกงกะจีกายด้วยครับครับผมครับเวลลันช์ลุกส์กูดอุนก็อะกรีนชิคเก้นคาร์รี่วิชลุกส์เวอร์ยัมมี่เขาแค่มีวันเซิร์ฟแต่นี่คือแค่30บาทของเธอฉันมี2ประเภทที่แตกต่างฉันมีชิคเก้นกับจินเจอร์และโคคานัทและชิคเก้นไทยคาร์รี่ของพวกนี้2ประเภทนี่คือ40บาทอีกทีนี้เขามีน้ำฟรีในจานคุณต้องแตกต่างกับของเธอและเครื่องดื่มนั่นเองครับ Wasn't really much that Ananda would eat there, so he's just got a fried egg with rice. I'll try Orns, yeah, it does look spicy. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah, it's a bit spicy. I'll put all the details for all the restaurants we eat at in this video in the description below. So mine, chicken and ginger first. Mmm. Great flavour. This is one of my favorite Thai dishes. If you like ginger, I'm sure you'd love this. Always tasty. And then my curry. There's lots of veggies in there. Just bits of chicken. Get some rice and some chicken. Not that spicy actually. Very tasty though. Well, lunch is great. Really enjoying this. You liking that? Yeah. Lots of people often ask me, are these places safe to eat? Do they reheat the food? No, they don't. This place isn't directed at tourists. These are local people who are eating here. Places like this make the locals sick. Their business closes down really quickly. I've eaten this stuff for about seven years now at restaurants like this. Never had a problem with it. At the end of the day, they give the stuff away to customers who are getting takeaways, just so they can clear it out for the end of the day. And if they need more, they cook it fresh. So we're going to get back into our lunch. We'll see what else we can find to eat later. It's afternoon snack time, and we've come to the northern end of Patong Beach. Found a quiet little area here with quite a nice view of the rocks. And we just got back from 7-Eleven where we grabbed some snacks. So we got some sandwiches. And Andrew and I have got tuna and mayonnaise sandwiches. They're 12 baht each. Orn has a red bean bun, something that she likes. This is only 10 baht. 7-Eleven has heaps of cheap options that you can grab for a snack or even meals there. These sandwiches are very edible. Only 12 baht each. Sometimes you can get them for 10 baht as well at the end of the day. Orn's bun's got lots of bean in there. The sandwiches have got quite a bit of filling as well. They are quite tasty. Certainly tied us over till dinner time. Uh. Hmm. My point of making this video is, is even though we're in Patong, which is one of the most expensive places in Thailand, still can find places to eat cheap here. Well, snack time was good. See what we can find for dinner. Dinner time, and we've come to a local steak place. 49 baht steaks. Looking forward to trying these out. Nanda got chicken nuggets, which were also 49 baht. Our steaks look pretty good. Cut into that. I got a pork steak. Orn got a chicken steak. Mmm, that is good. Your chicken? Yeah. Mm? Again, this place has water on the table. You've got to serve yourself ice, so keeping the drinks costs down. This place is really popular. There's people coming and going. Mm -hmm. The sauce is good. Yeah? Peppery. Peppery. Pepper sauce. 
Mm, that is a very peppery sauce, very tasty. So my point is for this video, if you eat local, you can eat cheap in Kadong still. Same as in the rest of Thailand, you stay out of the touristy sort of areas and there is still cheap food. Right across the road from here, there's another restaurant which is local and also very cheap. And right next door is another Khao Gang restaurant like we had lunch at with rice and curries. Hope you've enjoyed the video. As I said, all the details for all these places we've eaten at are in the description below. Had a great day of eating. Everything's been good, so try them out for yourselves. Check out my channel for lots more videos. I post new Thailand food and travel videos every Wednesday. See you next time. Bye.